time recorder. <laughs> Look at that, fingerprint time recorder. So it's a clock in and out machine um, with a fingerprint reader. And it's brand new, still got the plastic on the window. Good afternoon, race fans. Neil here, trying something a little bit different in the warehouse. Thankfully, it's not too cold. Got this little PC up and running, and now I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Now, I have been experimenting recently, just getting just getting smaller batches of stuff on to eBay, and I think we're currently at. I think I'm pretty sure we're about the seven grand mark, which is just kicking away. Look how much there's left. I kid you not, there is literally, yes, loads. However, I did shift a couple of crates of the old stuff that I had left over from the pre this lot, which was the facial care stuff from the end of last year, which I dug out and created, um, well, there was one, well, no, yeah, there was a pallet with just facial care stuff that, again, 99p, just get shot of the stuff. And that went for about 70, uh, 79 quid. And there was a crate, uh, there was a pallet from this lot actually that was just full of lcds now if you check out my last video i posted there were some successes in there and the rest of it was literally just uh def lcds and a couple of other little bits that i put 99p on ebay um you know and i think it's all for about 25 quid the chap came and picked it up on saturday last saturday so that was quite good again it really was just creating some space for me so that was in the last video check it out please before I go any further, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and just follow my videos. But today I'm trying something a little bit new because it's just super easy to kind of do the, the batches and sell them out instead of doing all the individual items, even though it's more profitable doing it that way. I am, together with my handy blipper, is I'm creating this box full of stuff to list. Now the good thing about this and the codes that come up on that computer is that they all relate, the LPN codes all relate to the Excel sheet that I have with every single one of these items already listed. All the details and why it was returned, or at least why it was stated as it was returned. Um, a lot of them are faulty, but they're not, they're fine. So I'm gonna be collating this box, filling it up with all this stuff that I've got in here and in here and you know, whatever else. And I will be able to put together an entire Excel sheet of absolutely everything that's in that box. Instead of going box of random stuff, do what you please. I will be able to work out what its retail price is. And I'll put that in the listing. This is all about honesty and transparency. And go, right, retail amount, if this was all great, all singing, all dancing, all working this much, and I'll put the buy it now at whatever, you know. And being, being honest, I bought this lot for about 10 or 11% of what its retail value was worth, um, which is obviously a roll of dice. If you've not followed me before, then you realize that all of this could be absolute chunk and not even worth 10% of the value. But as we found out, that is not the case, especially when probably I would say 90% of what I picked so far is all high value and all fully working and all mostly brand new. So yeah, so this box will contain, I'll be able to put a list of Excel sheet, everything that's in there, the reason why it's returned, all the details, the retail price, and then obviously I will list it for, if I bought it for 10 or 11%, of course, I'm going to list it for 20% and see where it takes me and see if this stuff really does, you know, selling it in batches. So if, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm going from individual items, listings, to getting shot of the pallets. Now, if you'd remember a fair few videos before, I was burnt when this lot first came in where I sold two pallets unseen for quite a, you know, a decent amount of money. And, you know, the guy, I uh, just, uh, I was a bit bent over. And I learned from that. So I'm a bit cautious about doing this, but at least this way, by the help of a barcode reader, so I haven't got to write down every LPN number. And if you remember what I was saying about LPN numbers um, previously, is that one thing I did ascertain this year is this LPN number here relates, and I didn't think of this before, I don't know why I didn't see it before, but I was watching a YouTube video where they were talking about the LPN being return numbers. And I'm thinking, have, mine, have all mine got this on? So obviously I realized they had, like a dumbass. I realize that they relate to every single item on this Excel sheet that we get when we first buy this stuff, which is thousand odd lines long. So I can scan them. I can then compare those to the lines, the lines on the Excel sheet, compile what's in that box down to the everything. And then I can produce that to the future buyer. They can see exactly what they're getting and whether or not it's worth their gamble and they'll know what they want to buy it for. I'm going to buzz a few items on, fill this box up and go from there. Join me. It's never enough room. Let's 
two of those in there, I think, already. And that's brand new, unboxed, uh, not even been opened. Smartwatch. Now, I don't want to ship empty boxes, so I will make sure that there's stuff in it. Send it. You know, and the potential of actually getting something relatively decent is quite high. Print time, fingerprint time recorder. <laughs> Look at that, fingerprint time recorder. So it's a clock in and out machine um, with a fingerprint reader. And it's brand new, it's still got the plastic on the window. I could be really uh, ruthless and get put that out there. Good night, practical joke. They go, guys, you've got to scan your fingerprint any time, every time you come in and out of work. Ah! So it's been open, open, never used. Going to a buy near you. Wireless repeater. I think people think they're going to cure all their internet issues, and it doesn't. wireless charging pad. We've had a few of these. Oh, it's got a return slope. Is it? It's got a ton of paperwork. Doesn't actually look like it's been used though. So there you go. It's a bonus for somebody. Worth about 18 or so quid. So I guess in essence what I'm hoping to do now is to discover a way where the buyer's happy, I'm happy, we both have a professional laptop battery and um, we both earn money from it and I don't, you know, everyone's satisfied. Look at that brand new battery, no idea what it's for. But what I will be able to do is scan the LPN code and the buyer will understand what, it's, what it belongs to. Full media recorder, look at that. Could be a little bully bonus. Escape room game, again. Uh, it's, it's factory sealed, it literally is manufacturer sealed. So it's just probably got box damage or just hasn't sold. I feel like a right Dell boy. I love this. People buy bubble wrap, like, look at that, and return it. Well, guess what? Gonna forward that on. Who doesn't love a bit of bubble wrap? Chink. Yeah, this might just help me get through stuff quicker. So many shredders. I think what happened, all, most of them are fully working. I think people use shredders, jam them up by being too impatient, then return them. We come along, pull the paper out, jobs are good in. Duo go go, duo go 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 go. Duo go, looks like a Wacom tablet. No, it's a screen. Is it a screen? Is it a tablet? Is it a plane? Is it a bird? Keyboard. It's a tablet. No way. And a case. Well, there we go. Guess what? It's now going to be somebody else's. And again, that still had the plastic on the screen left on, so, uh, cheap. So we'll fill this box. Thanks for watching. And, um, well, if you check out eBay, my eBay store, I'll leave the link below. But the chances are that box will be on there. I'll put it up for a five day listing or, or maybe 30 days with it. In fact, no, I don't think I'll put an auction listing because um, you'll know the value of that. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Check out eBay, it's, it'll either be on there or it won't be because it's sold. Uh, and follow me for more, like and subscribe and add me as a seller on eBay if you want to be notified of new things popping up because if this concept works, then guess what? I'm gonna do way more and you guys could bag some awesome bargains. Thanks for watching. Yeah, nearly forgot my name. It's Neil, see you later.